everyone and welcome to a brand new series on Battletech. Friends here as always and hopefully you enjoyed that little intro that you saw for Battletech there. Um, I am super excited to be bringing this to you guys there. I've been granted some early access. Uh, this comes from Hairbrain Schemes, the guys behind Shadowrun and is published by Paradox. But yes, I am super excited to be bringing this to you. Battletech is basically turn based with lots of big massive mechs and as a huge fan of mechs in general, I mean, going back to Gundam, Zoids, um, we've got, you know, obviously, recently Pacific Rim and two, 1 and 2, so on and so forth, Evangelon, everything, I have always been a huge fan, so I am super excited to be bringing this to you guys. It feels a little bit like XCOM, some people compare it to, you know, it's mechs with X or XCOM with mechs, should I say. So we're going to be going to the campaign, and we'll soon see how this goes. So let's start this up. Yep, we want to go with new here. Hopefully I've got the, the volume and everything of the gameplay okay for you guys, um, with any luck. So facing matters, remember that mech's rear armor is thinner. Use that to your advantage. So essentially, think of a tank. You can almost say you can get around the back and do some incredible damage compared to what you would do if you're facing it full on front. But hey! Let's get a flamer generate little heat when fired, but they can quickly overheat an enemy battle mech. So essentially, you can make a shish kebab out of someone. <laughs> Each shot of an auto cannon after the first suffers a recall penalty that lowers its chance to hit. Resting a weapon for a turn removes the penalty. So you're going to have lots of different things you're going to have to think about when taking any and all shots or any movement and so on and so forth. I have put the cinematic cameras up a little bit. Um, so if you want to see a little bit more, a little bit less, please do let me know in the comments below. But let's get started with some battle tech. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Koromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more compromised less a hero would have done better you know this of course you were there my father used to tell me stories about the ancient times about the star league a golden age of prosperity upheld by the great mech warriors of old Guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause, or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. So, very, very epic beginning to the story of Battletech. But yeah, I've been super excited to bring this to you guys. I'm so, so looking forward to this. So, the Ar Aragon? Aragon? Is that how you pronounce it? Is Reach. It's a small kingdom in the Rimworld Prophecy, a region of space that lies at the outskirts of the most, more densely colonized inner sphere. It's home to the Aragon Coalition and a federation a federation organized around a parliamentary monarchy and ruled by the Arano family. For three generations under the rule of House Arano, the Oregon Coalition has remained a relatively peaceful corner of, or, of the prophecy. It's here your story begins. Alright, so next. Alright, so uh, we have a huge host of backgrounds here. So mech warriors who hail from this combine tend to be fierce, disciplined and relentless fighters, no matter the odds they might face on the battlefield. Although the Draconis combine is as ethical diverse as any 
It does have a dragon, so that's like this. I like that. Over centuries, the founding house of Karata has succeeded in uniting people who have combined into a single culture, one heavily moulded around medieval Japanese society, while some most noticeably are descendants of the conquered Principality of Rasal? Some of these names I'm not going to get right, so please forgive me. Continue to shave at the unifer uniformity of Draconis society. Overall, this has created a more cohesive populace and military than seen in any other great houses of the Inner Sphere. I'm tempted to go with this because of this as well, but let's have a wee look through these. The oldest and fear are the most dem 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 demonocratic? Of the great successor states of the Inner Sphere, the Free Worlds and League is actually a broad coalition of many minor noble houses. For most of the League's history, it has been ruled under martial law by Captain General, who by tradition is from House Marek. The cultural diversity and relative independence of its component regions are at once the greatest strengths of the Free Worlds League and its greatest weakness. Hmm. Met warriors who hail from Ferret Sons. Uh, profess more finely on honed skills and better equipment than their counterparts from other regions of space, they often see themselves as righteous warriors and champions of liberty. Though nearly extinguished by the Draconis Combine in the First Succession War, the Federate Sons, a constant monarchy ruled by the renowned House Davian, has become- I feel like I'm playing Game of Thrones of mechs now. Alright, so House Davian has significantly increased the number of star systems under the crown in the last two centuries. Oh, that is a, a fist though. Hmm. Who hail from the Lion Commonwealth tend to be hardy, well equipped, and well trained, though they have also earned a reputation for not being particular strategic thinkers. Wow. That seems, uh. <laughs> Wealth is the greatest strength in the merchant princes of the Lion, uh, ruled by House Stanner. Despite a number of humiliating defeats in the first two succession wars, the Lion Commonwealth has bounced back to thanks to the combined strength of its economy, the biggest of the five great successor states and control of the inner sphere's largest function battle mech factories. With the Lantern Commonwealth may lack in military prowess, it makes up for in raw numbers and industrial scale. So I'm guessing that they would be best for if you want a ridiculously strong economy compared to the other ones. Uh, these guys here, the Compelling Confederation, has suffered the most at the hands of the other successful states over the last two centuries. I feel like these are being like the littler ones, although I noticed that these guys have like that, but they don't. Huh. Like these have got guys in here. Krata. I don't know, it's like a combined trip that's the common biggest. It's a, I don't want really sheer raw numbers, industrial scale. I want sort of military pro. Hmm. I'm stuck between these two. No matter the odds, they might face the discipline and relentless fighters. These guys are tend to be hardy, well equipped, and well trained. Though they have also earned a reputation for not being particularly strategic thinkers on the battlefield. I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm definitely going to go with this one. You are of noble birth. Though immigrants of the Argon reach your family soon, establish a comfortable presence in a small backwater system on the edge of Oregon space. By the time you were born, your family had become the de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhab inhabited planet. You were the oldest child, heir to the family's title and ancestry, Battlemech, an old blackjack, BG, BG1. This is where you met Raja Mastif Montagurami, a, a veteran of the succession war whom your parents hired on for a season to train you as a mech warrior. Raja was a, sh was a strict but capable teacher and you'd become quickly... Oh, you are quickly become a skill pilot under his tutelage. It was an uneventful life. Alright. So until this day after your 16th birthday when... Until the day after your 16th birthday when you were exiled. Once there's a promise, so you get one gunnery, one tactic. You stole away the family's ancestral blackjack and set off to find a new life. Um, what we got here? As heir to a non you grew up wanting for nothing, and as it turns out, you couldn't stand a life of pampered nobility. Finally, one night, you stole away the family's. Uh, is, is this is this all? With nothing but your family's that's left to call your own, you set off to make your life your own. Okay, let's see. So this gives us one gunnery and one tactic. This gives us piloting and tactic. So as a heir to a non no, no. Nope. As you grew older, you watched your family's fortune, income, and influence slowly dwindle away until there was nothing left. Your parents, driven to despair, took their own lives. Ooh. Uh, your family died in an accident. The rest of your family died in a freak jump ship accident, after which you discovered they had left nothing behind but piles of debt. 
After selling everything to settle debt, you set off with your own with your own family's uh, piloting in guts, gunnery in guts. Family was betrayed and its seat of power destroyed. You defeated the betrayers, but you were the sole surviving member of your house. I feel like this one, this yeah, this one, your family was betrayed. So let's go with that. So out of your own, you fell into a life of unsure of the prospects you travelled to Koromodo. So this is almost setting up our entire character. So that gives us, what I want to look at is mostly this point in there. Because what did we get there? What did we get? So we get gunnery and guts, okay? So guts, gunnery, tactics, tactics, t piloting. Um, inner sphere mercenary, eager to get away from all you joined up with the minor inner sphere mercenary unit, integrating into a tight knit crew took time, but you eventually proved your worth and became part of the family. I do like the icon as well. That gives a plus one tactic. You roamed the room more prophecy as a freelancer, signing on whatever gold contracts you could find as a mech warrior for hire. But as you became more comfortable with the inherent lifestyle, you found you were able to make a decent living helping people with the frontier. I'm gonna go with this one. Alright, until years later you cross paths with Oh god. While running a routine patrol for local government in the outskirts of the Oregon Reach, you were set upon by pirates and left for dead. Raja happened to be visiting the capital city and picked up your distress call. Upon res rescuing you, he offered you a job as a uh, in the House Haranal Royal Guard. So it's that you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, preparing your ancestral blackjack for guard duty on the coronation day of Lady Camille Aranal. Alrighty. Oh, now we get this. Okay, so Mech Warrior call sign, first name, last name. Oh. Alright, so there we go, that's Franz, uh, I don't know, can you randomize these? Rosanna Meyer, Sadie, Sadie, why do you... Who do we want to go? Who do we want to go? Can anybody, like, looks like me? Nope. Not really, particularly. Um, you, know, you can customize it. Oh, okay, so you can customize it quite a lot, actually. Can you give him tattoo? Oh, excellent. Give a scar as well. Do we have a scar that kind of... No, 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 no. Actually, we'll go with scar 7. Hairstyle. Nope. So we got a lot of hairstyles, actually. But this is just going to be all the ones from the pictures. I think it is. Which is a bit of a shame. Let's go with... Let's just go with that. <laughs> Uh, there we go. And we'll go with that. Expression. Yep, we'll go with that. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hair roots. Uh, hair tips. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that. And we got brown skin. Well, I'm extremely pale. Um, go with that. I don't have any makeup. Clothing? Oh, 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 that's cool. We can change the lighting? Oh, wow. So this has got a, like a red trim there, okay. Yeah, you know what? We'll go with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, first name. So, Mech Warrior call sign. Wait, Smasher. I'll go with that. And then Fraz. That should be it. What is this? They. He. Ah, okay, so let's get different ones. Oh, okay, right, okay. Let's begin. Alright. This is a character. Let's see how we get on. In the Battletech universe. Wow, there was a lot actually in that, and that was actually really, really great. You know, a lot of in-depth things for your actual character. So the High Lord Tamano Arano is dead. Our Oregon Reach is left in an uncertain crossroads. Once prosperous, it is now a kingdom declined, surrounded by powerful neighbors. Lord Santiago of Spania, brother-in-law to late La High Lord, is convinced that the slow-moving council of founding houses must be dissolved. His proposed directive would conscript their house guard and centralize power un done under a single throne. However, the High Lord's heir and the noble lady Camilla Arano is determined to rebuild the Reach without transforming it into an authoritarian Reach. She refuses to enact her uncle's directive and has rebuked his Benham pleas to reconsider. And I guess the feeling that's where the war is going to come from at this rate.
Coronation Day. But everything goes to hell. Maybe. We'll see. Speed is more important than firepower on escort and rescue missions. So, I've seen some videos around this, but I've tried to keep myself fairly out of it to just basically I'm taking a complete fresh look at this. If one of your mechs is running hot, remember that melee attacks don't generate heat. Just walk up and punch a core out or something. <laughs> but yeah, I've been trying to keep a sort of a relative distance for any of the YouTube videos or any sort of pre-release stuff that has come out because I want to take this completely fresh, completely new and learn along the way and obviously I'm more than happy to take hints, tips and everything down below. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, wow, this looks so cool. Oh, is that actually red? Can I turn? Ooh, this looks, this looks very nice. Use this so you could. So, okay, Smasher, add a Savannah Ressa, Ressa Yards, rush the repairs in your blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece, but we should run some diagnostics on it just to be sure. More importantly, though, one, I want to tell you more about the job I brought you on here to do. Now, to do me a favor, get that map battle tech moving. Let's see if there's any kinks in it. Oh, wow. Look at this thing. This is cool. All right. Let's uh, zoom out just now. Click that. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. Oh, wonderful. I love that it's called Smasher, even though my name is called Fraz. But oh well. And you've got a lot of uh, stuff down here. You've got a lot of information here. So let's begin to move your mouse to indicated point. Okay. This is like, I'm late to your blackjack. I brought you here because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since High Lord Tamino's funeral. So guys, you might notice slight tweaks. I basically restarted and made my character fast because it makes life easier for knowing that because uh, having them a smasher with somebody might be called smasher. So I figured having the pilot's name actually above that is probably going to be better anyway. Anyway, let's move in here and we shall make sure our viewpoint is that way. Let's get on. Hello there. Alright, so I brought you here because there's something wrong with the capital. It's been too quiet since High Lord Tamara's funeral and I'm worried about Lady Kamara's safety during her coronation. Anyway, it looks like your executors check out. Let's conduct a weapons test, target one of those burnt out old urban mechs and open fire. Like I was saying, All right. can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's off. And a warrior trusts their instincts. Alright, so fire the selected mech, there we go, and a lead, so, so you've got up here, you've got like the rears, you get the front, so we're firing at the front just now, I wonder if we could take off the head, head is an autopilot here, light mech, test dummy, you could, could, you could different areas, because so, you could, I believe you can actually shoot off different weapons and stuff, select the target mouse and press tab to cycle between targets, uh, let's just, uh, and we'll open fire, All weapons committed. oh wow, I very much approve of the sound effects. Enemy mech destroyed. Yay! So, good shot. Your guns are in working order, at least. Well, that's usually a good thing. That's a tank. I've been training Lady Anna since she was 14 years old. She can be naive at times and proud, but I have no doubt that she'll be a just and effective ruler. It's, us to, it's on us to see her safely to Cordial City. I'll rest easier once she's in the capital with her cousin Victoria by her side. Lady Victoria, well, she's only been training under me for a single season, but she's already shaped herself into one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me a lot of you, truth be told. Hey! Anyway, we should run a check on your targeting computer. You see that drone over there? The one moving through the tree line? Put some heart on it for me, and then when it turns, take it out with a rear angle shot. Right, so we can attack this, fire at you, and you want us to fire at the rear? That's the front, that's the rear. So we're going to hear weak against melee, you can actually see information here as well for us, so let's have a, let's fire at you. I love how we did a lot more damage to old battle mech than a tank. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. 
So now we're actually at the re facing the rear. So this is where our tank's going to come in. So let's fire this. Oh, wow. Structure. Wait, what? What do you mean, structure exposed? Nice shot. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with the Oregon politics, but the Reach was badly shaken by High Lord Tamati's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power, and Camille belongs on the Conmoron Throne. Go ahead and fire up your jump jets, kid. I want to see how you descend this cliff face. Aim for that patch of ground there near the... Okay, let's see. Right, so, we've got this. Jump. There. And we'll just kind of face this. Oh, that is cool. Whee! Boink. Well. Well, my heat's critical. Oh. Oh, Go into the water. Uh, warning: Plasma leak detected. Jump jet malfunction. Jump jet systems damaged. System inoperable until repaired. Oh, for the love of gods! This is what I get for insisting on a rush job. Not, not that I had much of a choice. The espionage refit yards were backlogged like you can wouldn't believe. It looked like they were trying to process every single royal guard making a time for coronation. There isn't any time to get your jets replaced, so we're going to have to make do without them. Go ahead and take the mech down with a melee attack. I want to be sure nothing else is going to break down. That's usually a good thing. Right, so it looks like we've killed down. So it looks like this is our heat signature thing here. So let's see. Move and go. I don't have anything on me just now, so let's see. I'm just going to like... <laughs> here, have this in your face. Good hit, at least that's solid. Alright, one last test. I want you to take your blackjack up to sprint and evade my attack. Alright, uh? sprint to here and face that. Ooh. Alright. Excellent. Congratulations, friends. Your blackjack's as combat ready as it can be. Given the circumstances for what it's worth, I hope that my suspicions turn out to be unfounded and we end the day having a good laugh about that what por a paranoid old man I've become. But if not, then I know that you'll be ready. Uh-oh. Alright, it's time to move out. Lady Arnold's waiting for us in the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. All right. Get you in there. Should we face somewhere? Face that way, maybe? Can you actually turn around? Yes, you can. Okay, let's go this way, and then we'll turn ourselves around. Ha-ha! Friends, allow me to introduce Camille Arano, the soon-to-be High Lady of Aragon Coalition. Is Lady Victoria on this channel? For the time being, my father has summoned me to the pic in the docks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of the family refit yards to preside over before the coronation. Behold the responsibilities of a noble daughter. A front of tedium that never runs dry. <laughs> I know the feeling, cousin, but by this time tomorrow I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give me, give my best to your father and don't be late for the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customised monstrosity, you pilot. Bold words, cousin, but the only victory you'll be celebrating is mine. You may be ascending the throne today, but my Kaga is more than a match for the family heirloom that you call Ambaramek, and in the arena, I reign supreme. Ooh, got a little bit of, you know, family sort of rivalry going on here. We'll see. At any rate, I will see you at the turning grounds. Sir Raju, I'm ready to go where you, when you are overland, along with the Cormorant Road, as in the Rano tradition. I command it. We'll get there in one piece. Fraz, fall, fall in behind me. And remember what I told you. All right. Well, there we go. So, character set up. We now have got the basically the start of our long adventure in Battletech. Let's see what things are going to go on next before we round up episode one. I remember the Oregon Reach of old, the time of the Great Expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly, we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? 
To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the council deliberates while our economy falters, and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Orano will not act, someone must. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations! For the Directorate! Well, who saw that one coming from a mile off? Yeah, I definitely saw that one coming from a bloody mile off. He wasn't going to be happy that he couldn't actually start a war. Huh. Coronation Day, 1322 local time. When all hell breaks loose and everything goes uh, crazy and gets a little bit uh, nuts, you know? Let's see how this goes then. After moving into combat, if there are no enemies in range, brace your mech to end its turn and gain defensive bonuses. I'm guessing brace is like almost like your Overwatch type thing. Uh, mechs at higher evolution and uh, elevation and target will have a slightly higher chance to hit. You can only like almost standard things from turn-based tactics and stuff. But hyperpulse generators controlled exclusively by Comstar allow near and instantaneous video communication across vast interstellar distances. I think it gives you that like little things like that in between, you know, like hints and tips. But there's like you know this world of battle tech feels very inclusive, and, you know, very involved. Let's get into our battle then. See what we're gonna have to deal with in this city. I'm hoping we don't have to like rescue civilians or something though. When we get to fight on the outskirts or something, maybe. Hopefully, we'll see. Command All right. So I'm going to miss this Raju, the clarity of the purpose that I feel in the cockpit of a battle mech, the simplicity of it, but there are just up ahead the city gates in the future all laid out before me. Wait, what's that smoke? A guard post, one of the small ones that dot the roads leading into the capital, but the emergency ban's been quiet all morning. I heard anything about any fire. Alright. Right, I'm going to make, so let's see, what do we got here? We've got a centurion. Oh, there we go, game. Let me get in. We got blackjack, and we got you. So what have you got? Right, okay. How can I help? So we need to get up here. So why don't we bring you into the forest just now? Uh, we'll have you facing out over there. Affirmative. Have you kind of just backing them up? Let's go. I like how they can move at the same time. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, so we need to get up to this point and have a little look out. Can I just move? Is it possible to just move? Yeah, there we go. Roger that. Alright, what do we got here? Some sort of explosion looks recent too. Do you think it was an accident? No chance. You see the scorch marks on the rubble? That's laser fire. We need to get you out of here, Kamea, right now. Uh, yes, I think you're right. That's a patrol of Royal Guard mechs up ahead. We should go to them. Right, so. I will prove myself worthy of the faith you've placed in me. Of that I have no doubt. Right. Okay, let's see. I'll do what you ask. Wonder if we could get up here, but I'm not entirely sure, so we need to get ourselves over here. Go go go, Mr. Blackjack. Right. This is where I get killed at some point. Right. Um now, can I, can I, if we move, no, move's not going to bring us too close to it, so let's say uh, bring ourselves down here, go. Moving out. Hey, we need to get up to this point. I mean, we could go across, no, it's not really going to let us, is it? Let's go. I'm on my way. 
Jake is just kind of sprinting at the moment. Got another evasion up, which is excellent. It's probably going to help us out. Right, we need to get to the Royal Guard. I'm going to then face ourselves that way. Can I face that way? Doesn't seem like it, so... Alrighty, let's get our butts up here. On my way. Location confirmed. Go, my minions. Are we in there? Hail, my Steve. Hail, Lady Anna. We were preparing for Lady Anna's coronation parade when we got word of a disturbance along the Cumberland Road. Guard post behind us was attacked. So Raju found Everson's laser fire. Is the road behind you clear? Aye, all the way to the southern gate. Lead the way, Sir Rizzo. We'll fall behind you and guard your six. Tell me something, Guardsman. The road is clear. Why is your battle mech damaged? Our mechs are overdue for maintenance, but this isn't important right now. We need to worry about it. I don't trust them suddenly. No, you're lying to this. This is my coronation day. No mech tech would have sent you out for a parade duty in that condition. I'm your sovereign, sir. You will tell me what happened. Damn it, girl. We don't have time for this. Take them. Kill the old man in the mech war and take the lead. Wow. Oh no, here comes it. Hi, how you doing there? Ow! Did I evade? I think I evaded there. Phew! Once combat has begun, different mechs move in different phases. Lighter units generally move earlier than heavier ones. To reserve all unit actions to later phase, use the reserve button and press the N key. I've got your back. Alright. Um, what have we got here? Okay. Sensor lock, multi target. Fire weapons at three separate targets. This is the mech's current firing arc. Wait a minute. Wonder if I could. Hmm. I'm wondering if it would be possible. Talk to me. To get behind him. Right. We head in here. Move. Copy that. Attack you from the side. Triggering an alpha strike. Oh wow! That did heat sink. Oh, wow! That. that did a lot of damage. Is he going down? <laughs> Sweet. Not down pilot injured. Excellent. Okay, the enemy's turn now, but this is going to be a bit of a problem because... Is that another... Wait, is that another one or is that the one that's just up in front? Ow. Hey. Oh, God. I don't think there was enough trees that around me. Alright. Let's see. I mean, we could go straight in. I need to be closer to get that in, don't we? Go. Hello there. Fire. Is there any way you change this to melee? How do you change it to melee? I'm on it. Or do you not have melee? Or you could just blast the living crap out of them. This butter scratch. Well, it's my turn now, so... Let's see, you don't have evasion anymore, so let's bring you up here. Nice and close so we can beat the living crap out of you. Goodbye to you. Get out of here. Wow. Don't I feel inferior? I was thinking, oh, my mech won't be this like the. My mech just feels. Uh, deserve you. Oh, you're getting back up. I thought you were down. Lessons learned then. 
I love how it like moves a bit more sluggish and everything. Oh wait, he's gonna be right behind my mech. They seem to not like him. I suppose I should have known they have vastly more powerful right. mechs. I mean, I could turn around and shoot you in the back. Although we'd need to be turned around to be able to do that. Let's get rid of you. It's just, it's just a flesh wound. You don't see the the achievements coming up. That's what I've been reading there. But there we go. That is excellent. Right. If we move you, if we turn you around. Goodbye to you. This is gonna hurt. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. well, that's his uh, arms blown off. Is there even much of him left? Yeah, there is some left, which is annoying. How can I help? Um, let's see. What if we go here? Aye, aye. I mean, he does have big fists, so I'm su can he attack him? Can Confirm. Only oh, that looked painful. <laughs> that looked really painful, though. That other guy is just not down, so he is generated a little bit. Come here, come here, can you hear me? Uh, Alexander, we were just attacked. The Royal Guard, my own guardman, tried to uh, take me prisoner. It's happening here too. The Royal Guard are killing one another in the halls. Lord Corusso's house guard got, just got gunned down in front of me. The Turdine Paladin is a slaughterhouse. Wow. Ste uh, steal my birthright. We need to rally every loyalist we can find and make a push in the capital. I'll take the throne by force if I must. Go to Rotoria Township and to the armory. Your soldiers are using it as a rally point. I heard Lord De Decimus sent his... House guard there a few minutes ago. Someone's here. I have to move. Rally what forces you can and meet me at the turning grounds. You heard him, Steve. Okay, this is going to be fun. Can be, I know that you and Lord Mayus are friends, but we can't take what you he told you on faith. Right now, we don't know who we can trust. In that case, we do. Alexandra has been close to my friend and confident for as long as I can remember. His loyalty is beyond question. Oh, dear. Right. Right, which way are we going here? That way, that way, ah, oh, this way, okay. Let's get going then. Sprint them over, they'll get evasion, which will be great. I'm gonna bring you, oh. So we get something up there. I don't know if it's tanks, units, whatever. Forest reduces movement and spawning distance and provides cover. 25% damage reduction against ranged attacks in front and side. Does not stack with guarded. You get your butt over there. Right. Reserve. Uh, Talk to me. See if we move slowly down here. I'm picking up another hostile. Right. So we got quite a number of hostiles down here, which isn't too great, but should be okay. You brace. Are they going to come forward? Alright, they've not came forward yet. Can I... How high can I... Can I get up there? Is it possible to get up there, I wonder? Kind of curious if that is possible to get up there. <sighs> you brace as well. Tell me what you need. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, put you there. I'll make it happen. See if you can get eyes. No, so we're gonna brace as well. What do we got? What do we got? We're still just coming forward. Ah, so pain. Well, guys, you know what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to leave it there for the very first episode. We will carry straight on from this point in the very next episode. So thank you very much for watching. See you all next time.